Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So season 28 is upon us. This is the first war of the season. And looks like we're going up against an alliance. Uh, we're just going to call them CB. All right, so that's the alliance right there. And we're going to go in here and we're going to spectate. I'm the only one that hasn't joined yet. Uh, had a busy day. But I take path three. And interesting. So it looks like I don't have anyone to fight on path one, on path three. So uh, I will be taking that uh, Guardian. And uh, I've fought Guardian here before. Uh, Strike Counter Fury um, can knock you out real quick uh, as the fight goes on. So uh, I'll probably end up going in against him with like maybe Nick Fury. Uh, just in case, have a little bit of a safety net, you know. Um, Black Widow Clairvoyant can also do that fight if necessary, and she can heal up if she's not knocked right out. And then we've got Professor X here. Uh, I have fought Professor X here again with Nick Fury, um, but... I can take him also with Black Widow Clairvoyant. The fight is a little bit uh, dicey because of the uh, no. Let me show you uh, that EMP modification. That's what is a pain. EMP modification. So you don't want to uh, go in with somebody that generates buffs and you don't want to dex because that generates buffs and you'll take a lot of damage. So if you can fight in a way um, where you're not dexing, but the thing with Professor X, he's hard to parry. You can get a reparry in, but if you miss it, you're going to end up dexing and, you know. Uh, section 2 here looks like Killmonger, who I really hate fighting. Um, but we, 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 we got it. And we also have um, Gladiator Hulk. Not a hard fight. This mini here... If my Nick Fury still has the life model decoy uh, available, uh, this fight isn't too terrible if you can just kind of DPS him down. You know, don't worry about his special three because you can tank it. Uh, maybe even pop an invulnerability boost. You know, we have a bunch of uh, invulnerability boosts and other boosts that Kabam just gave us, so may as well. And then we've got Mini Boss Island here. Normally I take the left, but uh, I will wait to see what they want me to do. Uh, so I think um, Black Widow Clairvoyant can take that um, vision. I don't like fighting Mr. Negative, so I don't know um, how I would handle that one. It depends on who I have available. Uh, and then we've got Sorcerer Supreme. I've seen her there before. Um, Warlock can take that fight. Um, so I'll probably bring Warlock, Nick Fury, my standard team, Black Widow Clairvoyant. Um, and then down here, we've got Man-Thing. Uh, Claire can do it if we're careful and uh, stay in uh, Poison. Terax, that node is very annoying in the first place for me. Um Claire can do it. Uh, and in Modoc, that's just an ugly fight, but um, someone who can handle the evades, um, shut down the evades might be a good option there. Usually by the time we get here, uh, we've got like a backup that will bring in counters for those three. And then they just come in, take those three fights, boost one time, and just go on through. So that is the plan right now. So uh, we'll be back and we'll see the fighting. Right now, I would love to bring like Corvus for that, um, for uh, this uh, Killmonger here. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll try to do it. Um, but that fight has me a little bit worried. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So. We'll be right back. All right, so going in with uh, my standard team, 
Warlock, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Nick Fury. And I believe that these three can handle everything on my path, plus a mini if we need to. But we actually get some boss action in this uh, war. All right, so no one there. Easy clear of my path. And so, of course, since I didn't fight anyone on my path, I can take this Guardian. Now, I probably would have taken the Guardian anyway, even if I had fights on my path. But uh, definitely when, you know, we have someone that doesn't have any fights on their path, they're expected to kind of, you know, take that uh, mini. So I'm boosting up because I have tons of these in my overflow. And I'm tired of seeing them expire on me. So may as well use them. We have not had a season for a while, war season. So these boosts just went unused. All right. So uh, my strategy here is pretty simple. Uh, with Nick Fury, I'm just going ham. You know, not trying to, you know, do too much uh, fancy or anything like that. All right. We evaded that special one, which sometimes can clip me. All right, and there we go. That time it clipped me. But with Nick Fury, we have a little safety net. So as long as the real Nick Fury is not out, I can play uh, a little bit more aggressive. That's one of the reasons that I like him so much. All right, you see how I just blocked that one? Because when I tried to evade that last one, it didn't evade when I told it to. And so I got clipped. All right, and there I was like, no, I'm not going to do this. Let me just try to evade a little early uh, and see if that works. And it's working. Now, the real Nick Fury has just come out. And I was like, man, if I had fired that off, I could have saved that little safety net um, that I had. But it's all good. Uh, Guardian is down. And uh, Nick Fury, his health is... Uh, Okay, but you know he's going to degen all the way down to 30% uh, percent of his health. But at this point, he's doing a lot more damage. Now, I don't know if you knew this. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But the higher his SIG level, the longer it'll take me to degen down to that 30%. That's the only benefit that I see to his uh, SIG level. I, I don't think I put six stones into him. I might have, um, but I don't think I did. All right, here's that fight that I was concerned with. Killmonger, who is an annoying defender at the best of times, and he's awakened, and we had the uh, thorns on it, and I'm just like, oh, my goodness. I, I hope I do okay on this fight. So, again, I'm boosting up because... They're in my overflow. So, and I, I have a lot of the 30% boosts. I need to use those. Um, I have four days left on them. And we have the Summer of Pain, that uh, the finale. And honestly, I really don't feel like doing it. But I know I got to do it. And I know I'm going to use some uh, boosts there. Um, I should have been doing at least one initial clear today but i just didn't feel like it but i will have to get to it at some point in time all right so here we are fighting a uh, killmonger and that reverberation armor is my bane um, i hate it and you see i got hit there for no reason at all and <laughs> the game is just really in a bad state right now um it just I just have to shake my head a lot of times. Uh, I'm happy that I'm using champions that have some forgiveness. Like, she can heal. You know? Uh, Nick Fury has a second life. That's what makes them so valuable to me. So I'm trying to bait out a special two here. That's why you saw me backing all the way up. Because he kept attacking me. And with the way that the timings are currently, I keep parrying by accident. And then don't parry when you want to parry. You know how that goes. All right. So uh, we're just going in. I'm in uh, Curse of Blood. And uh, I may try to do a little um, healing. Yeah, there we go. Now, I'm not getting the healing in 
because I I kind of messed up there. All right, uh, it, it is what happened. Uh, but in any case, you know, I saw that and I was just like, oh no, no, oh, no, 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 no. You know, but we got him down and we didn't die. So, you know, that's a win. You know, as long as you didn't die and you, you know, um, came out victorious, all good. Now, this fight here, I remember a long time ago where I got wrecked by this Hulk. After a special three, and some of you who have been watching me for a long time may remember this. After a special three, he hit me with a special one so fast. After that special three, I had no time to even think. The special one stunned me and I was dead. Just like that. And I'm like, wow, I love war. You know? Now, here I was a little confused, all right? Uh, Kabam gave us a lot of potions. And I was looking for it. And I was like, wait a minute. I know I had some. I hadn't claimed it. So I went back and claimed it. Because I'm looking there. I'm just like, why am I not seeing the, the potions? Now would be a great time to use them. You know, Kabam gave them to me. All right. Uh, so this one here for a single champion, but we want the team ones. But then I was like, wait a minute. That's a lot for those team ones. I mean, that seems to be a waste. So I'm just thinking about that. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just uh, use like one of the, uh, uh, maybe one of the, the singles. You know, I was looking over here to see the level one and the level twos. You know, maybe I'd just use, you know, a couple of those because I didn't want to use the big ones. So, you know, I settled on, you know, using a few level fours. Uh, I haven't bought any of these level fours in a long time. You know, those are from way back. I think it's been uh, a couple of seasons since I started getting those and then stopped. All right. So now we're going in and she's looking a little bit healthier. And remember, she can heal. All right, so here we go. Evade that special one. Put that incinerate on him since I'm in uh, uh, that curse of, uh, what is it, Hellfire or something like that. All right. And I'm trying to remember what I did here. Yeah, I did switch and get some, uh, some health back. You see how quick he's with that? And you can't punish it when he's got that smash. So you just have to be watchful and sometimes i've watched him go uh smash in the middle of a combo and i'm like what in the world is going on but we got him down we didn't really get a lot of our health back but you know at least we got him down now i don't know if there's an issue you know um wouldn't be the first time um with her uh, health, you know, healing her health back, you know, but whatever it is, we got the champions down and so far so good, you know, they go those thorns again. Um, but I don't believe he got any kind of an armor up. Um, so we shouldn't have to worry about that too much. And of course with, uh, Nick Fury, you know, we've got the, uh, uh, we don't have the safety net anymore because now the real Nick Fury is out. I popped in a vulnerability boost because Kabam gave us a bunch of them and I have some in my overflow. Uh, so if I'm not going to use them now, you know, when am I going to use them? All right. So my health is degen and down. Uh, his his sig level is, is up there. So it's going, you know, a little bit slow. And see here, I'm just like, fire your special three. I don't care. But he knows. He knows that his special three is not going to do anything to me. Look at that. He had a special three. He was just like, oh, forget it. You know, and just laid down. No special three. No reason for him to throw a special three. Can't kill me. All right. So that was section one and two. And uh, as you see, I had no energy here. Uh, but I did promise some boss action. Now. This is uh, something that 
we should do all the time. Uh, when the officers noticed that I had a full warlock. So I should always be the one to go in first against an apocalypse because even if I die, I'm not going to give him any charges. He won't gain any charges from defeating me. So with a warlock, that's who you want to go. Anybody that has a warlock, let them go in first or a robot. Okay. Uh, now I've never fought apocalypse with warlock on the boss node. So I am a little nervous. I don't know how it's going to go. And I have a strategy in mind. As you can see, I'm boosting up. Um, but I have a strategy in mind. Of course, he will go bleed immune if I do, you know, some heavy attacks. He will take a little bit of bleed damage. Um, but uh, he will go bleed immune. So I cannot rely on that. And I'm not very good at evading his specials. I can evade his special two uh, better than I can evade his special one. I've evaded both, but yeah. So you can see here, I'm just blocking, blocking, evade the rest of it, all right? And so my thought here is to just keep doing that. See if I can uh, get him down. I wish I had a six star rank three warlock, and uh, we would have done much better. All right, so I went in, I did a, a special two, but because I'm running suicides, I took recoil damage, okay? Now, of course, you know, he's stun immune, so it doesn't matter that, you know, I'm a tech. And as you can see, we're, I'm looking up at his health, and I'm like, okay, his health is going down, yeah, but, so is mine, all right? We're, we're close, and he keeps firing those special ones. Now, if I could evade his special ones, we would be rocking, okay? But I don't trust evading the special one in war, or in AQ, for that matter. Other places, I can evade it no problem. You know, well, I shouldn't say no problem, but I can evade it more reliably. So here, I pushed him to a special two. All right, time to put my money where my mouth is. Boom, boom, boom. Clean evades, okay? If I could push him to his special uh, two all the time, great. All right, so you can see here, my, my health is going down. I'm losing the health race, okay? We baited out a heavy there, that was good. And I'm firing off a special three, which is kind of counterproductive because it's gonna degen him when I kind of want him to go to a special two. So a little bit counterproductive. See, we would have been able to push him to a special two. And as you saw, we would be able to evade that special two. But right here, he you know went down to no, no power. And my health is low now. I'm at 21% health. And I'm like, okay, let's just go all out because I don't think I'm gonna be able to evade this special. All right. So we're just going in. The special one put a little bit of a degen on him, and I'm like, okay, let's do it. And as usual, it catches me in the end. I don't know why. It happens in war and in AQ. Sometimes I get it, but right now is not a good time to practice. Not with the parry and the control issues that are going on right now. So I don't know. It could be the game issues or it just could be my timing or it could be both i don't know but i have evaded that special one in other places and using the same timing the same cue sometimes i get hit sometimes i don't and i get clipped you know i, I don't get hit full but i do get clipped although one time i did get hit full because it didn't evade at all all right so i was uh i, I didn't see that uh, Big Blue was supposed to come in after uh, to clean him up because, you know, I was upset. You know, he killed me. And uh, so I said, nah, I'm going in here. And as you can see, he still has three charges, even though he defeated uh, my Warlock. Now, if he defeats Claire, he'll have four. All right. So Claire's going in. Now, Claire is a good option for him as well because she can heal up. So, boom, 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 clean, you know? 
but the special one claire i could do the blocking but then i can just rotate and hit the uh, special two in curse of blood heal it back up and we'd be fine okay so might might try that uh another time but down goes apocalypse i got the boss kill even though it wasn't a one shot he still went down all right so that's it for this war and after a brief intermission we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended And we're back, and as you can see, we lost this war. This was not a good start to the season. We had one guy not even place his defenders. I believe he was on vacation or something and wasn't able to connect in to uh, place his defenders. Uh, we died more often than they did. Um, and our diversity, horrible. Absolutely horrible. You know what? I'm going to show it to you. Look at that. That is some horrible diversity. All right. Now, going forward, we're being asked to place without suicides because we wanted to uh, make a push for Platinum 3. And to be quite candid with you guys, this does not look like we're going for Platinum 3. And this is not motivating me to spend units every war in order for us to, you know, have a, a little bit of a stronger defense um but we'll see we'll see how things go but that's going to do it guys thank you all for watching the video feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day